Okay, before we get going in the video, I wanted to congratulate Nightingale for winning the prize. He guessed what this was and gave a very accurate description of what it's for. It is actually for a stonemason. These are the chisels we used and it hits it like that. So it's for stonemasonry. And he was very accurate in his description. Also, there are a few other names for it, but I've always known it as a bell hammer. So, congratulations, Nightingale. Everything is on its way, and you'll receive it shortly. So, let's get into the video, and thanks everybody for participating. It was fun. Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be a two-part video. First part, we're going to jump over into the utility shed, and we're going to get all the plumbing ready for the well install so that consists of getting a pressure tank in there all the plumbing pressure switches everything hooked up and ready to go for next week we can install a well pump the well that we have here has been drilled over 20 years ago i do know there's water in it but i don't know if it's any good so hang tight let's get over to the shed and get this day going okay guys well we're working back in the utility room and as you can see i have a pressure tank behind me what i'm doing here is so remember how this one here is the water coming up from the well comes over to us into the pressure tank fill back out here go around there go around there and then back down this big pipe over to the house site so i'm in the process but what i want to do is on this piece right over right over here so i want to put a a shut off just like this in there in case there's an emergency i can have water in here but i can shut it off at the house um, and then if you can see right here this is going to come up shoot over here so that'll be the water for in here for the washing machine and things like that so i built a little uh base so it sits up this is a 50 gallon 50 us gallon uh okay before i get to the rest of the stuff what i want to do is i want to quickly put on the pressure switch so that can get wired in tomorrow so we got wrap this around there there we have it oops get tape on and get this pressure switch out oh that's not a good thing to do. Shit. So, pressure switch is, you have your valve, pressure switch comes on, once it feels enough pressure, it shuts the pump down. So basically, this is a switch that turns the pump on and off. Pressure switch is on. They can do their thing. So that was pretty painless. Okay, well, we're working on the plumbing again today, and we're gonna run a line that way to the washing machine, a line this way to an outside tap. So if we need to do some watering or whatever out there, we're good to go. Okay, well, we've been busy. So I went to town, I got all my PEX pipe, three-quarter inch. I dropped a T in here over the half inch which runs over to the outside bib, water tap. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect on here and we're gonna jump over that way to the, uh, yeah, so we'll put on this shark fitting. I'll show you how easy this stuff is. I love these things. They're expensive, but if you ever wanna adjust or do anything else, off you go. So that's it. Ta-da, that's it. Now. Another shutoff valve that's going to go in here. And what that'll do, that'll lead me, if something goes wrong anywhere else from here to the house, I can shut it off here and still have water in this facility. So that's the plan. I'll show you a little bit of this PEX pipe. So go over to that corner. We want, I'm going to take it over there. So let's go seven feet. Seven feet. 
Okay, so seven feet. Whoa, hey, you guys are in the way. like dinner. Right, so give it a little straighten here. This pipe out with it no good. Okay, so again, you come in like this, that's it. That is it my friends. Okay, so we have the line over to where the washer is going to go, but I put my reducer on from three quarter to half, and I was gonna put this in, but I can't find, I need to elbow it up now. Can't find a half inch elbow, but I do have a three quarter. So this is the great thing about these. Uh, there is a special tool for it, but I don't have it with me. So I'll just use this. So you take this, and you push it in, go on there, bam. Now, we need a piece of three quarter pipe. And, so we can actually go up, whatever. Let's do this. Nice clean cut. Boom, make sure there's no debris. Go like this. Okay, on. Now, reducer, three quarter to half. I'm gonna go like that. There, you gotta make sure that they click on. So I'm gonna go like this, just like so. And then, I'd like to maybe just tie this up for a second. So, have a little piece of this. Now we're gonna do this by eye. pretty good there. So what we'll do is we'll put this one right here. Now the key is you don't want to bust your pipe or squish it. So put the bottom one in first. And then pick the other hole. The rest are nice and easy. There. And that. I'll just go like this. Put it up here for now. Tap. Bang. Okay. Let's cut it. Alright. The only thing. This is just going to go on there. Let's do it. leave this I'm gonna get an elbow so that'll elbow out I'm gonna strap that up strap that up good enough for now see how easy this stuff is to work with there's no soldering the last time I tried to solder and it almost burnt the house down so here I want that rattling around so let's just cut these two short actually let me just do this. If I do that, then I can always disconnect anyway and not have to take this off. So let's just do it. And by the way, I am not a plumber. Not a plumber. So there. That one there. Okay, so beauty. Maybe we'll just put one more right here for now. Little one. Just the whole thing there. Let's do this. enough for now. Alright, so we'll see how that all pans out. Okay, so, you know, that can turn. 
whatever. I love these things. So easy. It's it's just too easy. Let's have a look and see what the temperature is in here. The temperature inside here is 32 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna start cleaning up, like I said, and we'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh, hang on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go look at the fancy tap outside. Look, there it is, look. See, we have water outside. Beautiful, hopefully tomorrow that's So, okay, and damn it all, I was at the store twice and I forgot spray foam, but I might have some in my shop, so we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna clean up and get out of the guy's way because I don't want any excuses for him not to finish today. So, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, I wanna do one more thing before we close up. So I just put the Teflon tape on here and we're good to go. So we're gonna cut this, stick this in and good enough. So we're gonna mark it right here. I'm gonna mark it right here. So on first but might as well okay so let's do this side first okay oh. easier than I anticipated which is good I'm gonna go around double check up all my clamps and lock that in and we're gonna call it a day for this plumbing stuff all right thanks for watching okay let's have a look at the system why it is up and running so what we have here is the line that comes from the well so the water comes up into here over into here it goes into the tank but what happens is you can see here we have a pressure gauge. This here is a pressure switch, which will turn on at 30 PSI and turn off at 60. So right now we're reading a little bit about 50, which is perfect. This is a pressure release valve. So if something went a little crazy, this will release water out of this before that explodes, which is a great thing. This is a basic water tap if we need water in here we can just turn this valve on so and then over to here and around and around back over here down and over to the rv so right now we're reading at just below 50 psi uh, we have the tanks filled up in the rv right now so there's lots of water this is basically full and <clears throat> that's how we get our water and it's been in operation for a couple months, no leaks, and everything works as it should. All right, that's it for this one.